Hey folks, Jim Denham here. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm out here in a beautiful afternoon here in Tennessee, West Tennessee. It's about 73 degrees, cloud cover. It's just wonderful. Signs of spring are coming. If you can see behind me, the trees are blooming. It's, uh, it's the right time of year to be in Tennessee. Well, that doesn't mean we won't get a little bit of cold weather coming, but I come to you today to talk about this animal right here. This is my brand new Real reality so subtle six by six pinhole camera now pinhole cameras are one of the first type of camera built it's about as simple a camera as you're going to get but this is brand new it's handmade it's handcrafted and it's and it's really wonderful out of wonderful materials it's very sturdy it's very solid but uh, i wanted to show you how it worked uh, it's very simple, like I said, and but the images that you get from them are just incredible. I, at least in my eyes, they are. So, let's uh, let's show it to you. So, uh, you can see it's small, but it's made of uh, looks like a composite material, handmade with a CNC. So it's it's a custom cut. It's just really beautiful. And what you have here in the front are two lenses. They're the same size. It's just one is on top and one is on bottom. All you use that for is to adjust uh, the vertical nature of your shot. You know, one will take more of the up, uh, a higher uh, perspective, and the other will take more of a lower perspective, whichever you choose. Uh, I'll even open them up, and you can see they're very small. Very small lenses, that's why they call them pinholes. The aperture of these lenses is f137, if that tells you anything. So, you know, most of your digital cameras will go to f32, maybe max. So this one's going up to 137. So it's not, it's not letting a whole lot of light in, but it's getting everything in focus, which is really cool. But because it's not letting a lot of light in, it makes for really long exposures, which is very, very cool in my book. So, and then uh, on the top, uh, you've got your knobs here to uh, move the film, roll the film through, advance the film from one side to the other. You've got a bubble level here that helps you get the camera level. You've also got sight lines here. Now, I'll get to the sight lines here in a little bit, but you've got sight lines on the top, sight lines on both sides. That helps you line up a photograph, all right? And then inside, you just undo these two screws here on top and open this up. All right. Now I've got my, ah, excuse me. I've got my take-up roll here, spool. That's all that is. And then... You've got a little box here. This is where the lens look into. You put your spool of film, unexposed film, on this side, and you roll it through this little shaft right here, and then take it up over here, and then when you open the, the pins, the light comes in, hits the film on the back for the exposure time, and then you close it, and that's it. Then you advance the film and go on to the next shot. It's pretty amazing, and I mean, uh, on the back here, what you've got is is a little it's a it closes up to keep the light from coming in which is really nice but then you can see what number uh shot you're on on the back of the film when you rotate it it shows you so you know where you're at that is it i mean that uh, it is very simple it's uh very uncomplicated but it is uh fantastic the type of images you get on it and i'm very excited about it now here's how i will typically set up a shot of course i will have loaded the film which i'll show a little bit later on but i'll put it on a tripod always and i'll make sure my bubble level is centered and level so it's plumb and the camera straight up and down that way these sight lines can be used the sight lines they show at a point where your your uh, pins will be fo forwarded you know where it's looking forward but then also it gives when it breaks out it gives you kind of an idea of what the field of view is going to be as well and that's on both the sides and the top so you get it level and then you line up the shot with the sight lines now with the, these uh, lenses are so wide that you really need to get close uh, if you think you're close you probably need to get closer because it's so wide that everything will be pushed back but the amount of distortion and natural vignetting that you get is just fantastic so I guess uh, one other question that may come up is, is how do you calculate exposure? Well, what I've got here is an iPhone app that uh, one of my friends on uh, Twitter uh, clued me in on. It's called Pinhole Assist. 
And what you've got here is it looks at this screen and determines what the exposure is. And it, based on the camera, you plug in what camera you're using. The Reality So Subtle 6x6 is loaded in here. And the film that it uses, which is also in here, Delta 100 is what I used. And what you get is you get a calculated exposure based on the setting that you're at. It also takes into consideration the, the uh, with a film and long exposures, there tends to be some failure that the film has to maintain the exposure. So you have to run it longer to get the proper exposure. And that's what this, no whoops, sorry, it went off. That's what this number is on the bottom, right here in the yellow. And when you get ready to take the shot, you hit this hold button. It holds the, the time that you need to expose it for. All right, so I got this held, so I hold it in my right hand, and then what I'll do is, is I'll put my finger here over the lens, open up the lens, and then when I get ready to take the picture, I'll hit the stopwatch on the app and remove my finger at the same time, and then I get the, the timer runs, tells me when it's time to stop. I put my finger back over it, and I close the lens. After that, I just advanced the film. Sorry, it's making a racket now. But that's essentially how you do it. It's a simple way of, of calculating exposure. The app is fantastic, and I could not do this without the app, but it, it's just simple. I mean, you're just basically opening the, the lens to the light, closing it. You are the shutter, and then it lets the light hit the film, and then once you're done, you close it, and you advance the film and go on to your next shot. It's just that simple. Um, and really not a lot to tell you other than that so uh, other than I just really love this camera I'd highly suggest if you're getting one there's several other manufacturers out there but I really like the quality of this reality so subtle it came very highly recommended and I'll put a link down in below to where you can get to that website if you want to see it so uh, in just a minute I'll come back and I'll show you how to load the film okay. Hey, Jim Denham back here. I just want to show you uh, how this works as far as loading the film into the Reality So Subtle 6x6. So what I've got here is another roll of Delta 100, and I've got the take-up spool. And before I stick, uh, put it in the camera, I will get it started outside of the camera here. Just get it started here a little bit. And then what I'll do is, is I will take it and I will feed it down in until I get both sides to fit down. There you go, perfect. This one just lags a little bit. Okay, we got it slid down in there with the uh, take up on this side and the unexposed film on this side. And then it's right in between this back here. There's a little felt there that it rests against, which is nice. And then we just take the top, like so, line it up, get it set up in the, so that it falls on the spools correctly. Tighten this up, get it solid, and then we're ready to advance the film to our first shot. And that's it.